Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got something very interesting to show you guys. So, um, you may recall that uh, some time back I picked up this little guy. This is the Millet Knives Torrent. Um, and this is the first generation torrent. It's got a uh, an Odin's Eye damascus steel blade, it's got this beautiful carbon fiber inlay, and it's a great little knife. It's designed by T.J. Schwartz of, uh, well, he's T.J. Schwartz, but he also designed the Conigarius, among other things, the Cricket Caligo, and he's got a bunch of other stuff in the works. They've got a mass drop thing going on right Right now, uh, Millet and DJ and Master Op do. Um, and it's designed, I'm sorry, and it's created by Millet Knives, which is a relatively small company. I didn't realize how small they were. But, you know, a six-person company out of Idaho over there here in the U.S. But anyways, I love this knife. This is a really nice piece because it really matches a beautiful complexity. This, this excellent damasteel treatment here matches beautifully with the, the, the carbon fiber here. And this milling pattern looks absolutely great. Um, and then, you know, on the other side, side here. I love the fact that it's mirroring some of the milling on this side. It's just a beautiful, beautiful knife. And it's a knife that's stuck around in my collection, despite my initial sort of thinking that it might not. This is a really, really neat piece. And it's a piece that I was absolutely thrilled um, to, to keep around. But it has one Achilles heel, and that's the flip -a tab right here. The first generation millet torrent flip -a tab was not stellar. Um, it was a little too smooth, so in fact I had to texture it a little bit there on my own. Um, and it just doesn't have quite enough of prominence to reliably, uh, you know, it's easy to slip off the back of this flip -a tab there. And, you know, although I love this knife, and although I've carried this knife a great deal even with that, it was always something that left me a little sad. Um, and so when they announced that there was going to be a version 2 and it was going to fix that issue... I absolutely got on the list. And, uh, you know, I this is one of those few cases in which I have gotten a, well, probably not few, uh, but this is one of the cases in which I've sort of explicitly maybe gotten different treatment than the rest of the world, in that uh, when I, I placed my order for this guy, I um, I, I said to the, to, to the Millet guys, to Shane over there, this, this whole thing is Shane's fault, by the way, um, but anyways, I, I said to him, you know, I want the Damasteel overlay, and aside from that, just impress me. Because he wanted to kind of try things out. He wanted to test some new ideas, you know, see if he could make the, the you know, the, see what he could do. And so I ordered basically a, a Damasteel torrent with the Damasteel overlay with the V2 blade and everything. And aside from that, left it very, very open. And uh, today, I'd like to show you what I got. What Millet will do when they want to impress a rather picky jackass. And so today, it brings me great joy to show you something that is very, very interesting. Something that, uh, well, you know, I, I haven't gotten a chance to show off on the channel before. Something absolutely fascinating. Like, for instance, the Spydeco Alcyon. This is a very interesting budget little piece out of Spydeco. It's coming from China, but it's... Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. You wanted me to talk about something a little bit more explicit. Okay. That, 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 that's fine. So I'm going to finally show off the uh, Spydeco... Uh, a bird metal lock here in Titan. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, I can't resist. It's tradition at this point. Uh, for real this time, I'd like to finally show you what Millet came up with. And this is a custom Generation 2 Millet Knives Torin. Check this out. This is a really, really neat little piece, and it's really neat at a bunch of different levels. The first thing that jumps out at me and that did jump out at me is the overlay. I asked them for a damasteel overlay. That means I want this portion here, what was carbon fiber on my original knife, to be made of damasteel too, and ideally from the same damasteel as the blade. And the blade, indeed, is made of damasteel. And so what you end up with is a knife that has one sort of continuous streak of damasteel going down the entire blade here. Um, it is absolutely a beautiful effect. It's a lot of damn steel, 100%. Um, but it looks really, really stellar. One thing I want to highlight here, and I'll kind of be zooming in to look at details a lot with this knife, but check this out. Right inside here, as we look at these little uh, kind of bars here, as we look at the, uh, the, the, the the overlay here, what we can see is that the individual damasteel sort of lines within it are beautifully exposed here because they etched all sides of it. And so you can see here very, very clearly that this is not just a, a, an etching on the top or a, a printing or something like that. No, this goes all the way through the material, and you can see it in every different direction here. That is something that is absolutely wonderful. This is a a showpiece for damasteel that I, I've never really seen the quality of. Um, this is really...
really, really, really nicely done. And it, this design really, really begs for it. Couple that with this anodization. Um, although you can see there's a little bit of uh, oil from my fingers where I've touched on the inside there. It has this beautiful blue into purple sort of thing on top of a high polish, sort of a blurple thing. And it gives it this absolutely wonderful sort of 80s style outrun aesthetic that I, I'm just freaking in love with. Um, and they've done, they've matched that with the uh, pivot collar with the hardware here as well. That's just absolutely great. And so from the front side, the show side of this knife is spectacular. One other thing to note is that they've treated the damasteel a little bit differently in this knife than they did in the original. Um, these are two different patterns of damasteel. Over on the uh, the new one here, this is a uh, Thor pattern damasteel, whereas on this guy, it's Odin's eye. Um, and so you can see the pattern is different, but the etch is also very different too. This is a much more mirror-y sort of aesthetic, whereas this guy has a, uh, it's a much deeper uh, etch on it. There's still some mirror finishing, absolutely. I mean, see, look, jackass reveal. But nonetheless, um, you can see that they, they've really etched this in deeper. It gives it sort of a metamorphic look, um, and it matches uh, throughout the entire lineup here. Uh, the, the, the grayness, the, the shading works just beautifully uniformly. So that's great. And then you flip it over and you start to see some additional details. They've gone ahead and mirror polished the back of the uh, the, the, the back spacer here, uh, which is really, really cool looking. Um, it's a titanium spacer which has been polished out. And similarly, you can see here that they have polished the clip as well. They put it to a nice higher polish, which looks absolutely great and really jumps out at you, coupled again with the blue hardware on the clip here to offset things. One major difference here is that um, this guy has... Uh, cutouts all the way through. Previously, these are just sorts of pockets that have been put into here, but because this is the thicker damasteel, or I'm sorry, the heavier damasteel overlay relative to carbon fiber, Millet has decided that, you know what, they need to do this, uh, they need to change the balance here. And so they are now going through and they are doing individual pockets that are all the way drilled through. In fact, if I close the blade here, what you're going to be able to see is the actual blade is moving in there. And as I put the blade through, you actually get to see the damasteel pattern coming through those little holes. How freaking neat is that? The other really neat part about that is that the balance on the knife, because of this, remains very, very good. Actually, I haven't looked at the balance comparatively speaking, but the balance is right at about the same place. Uh, here it is on this guy, and maybe a little tiny bit further back on the, 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 the full dammy overlay. But the balance on both of these knives is great. And that's actually one of the things that scared me most about going to the dammy overlay here is that, well, that could be screwed up. The, the other thing that I worried about was the weight. Because um, it's very easy as you replace carbon fiber with, you know, actual freaking steel to, to, to make the weight go way up. The weight on the new guy with the dammy overlay is 3.14 ounces. Holy crap, it's pie. I like it better now. Um, and here we go. We have have 2.82 ounces. So they've added like 0.3 ounces uh, altogether to, to, to go to the full damage steel. And so the knife is just as carryable. It's just as usable. It's just as functional. It's just as thin behind the edge. It's just, frankly, just as nice. Um, except now it's got this dammy overlay that's just astounding. You can also see that they have mirror polished and then anodized in the same sort of blue outrunny color. The inside, of the, uh, the inside of the handle, as well as the inside of the backspacer, as opposed to here where it was just sort of a stonewash uh, sort of thing here. Um, the uh, You can still see that they, they've got that nice milling pad on the inside of the cutout there. They have done a bunch of really cool stuff to make this pretty excellent. But because there is a lot of slickitude to it, um, you can tell they've thought through some other elements of it. The edges of the handle uh, over here and over here, these are all remaining uh, in a blasted finish, which gives you a little bit more gription on this guy. This pattern itself inherently gives you a fair amount of grip, and even more so with these cutouts all the way through. Um, but this gives you plenty of grip still, so it's not super slippery. And the fact that they've not done as high of a mirror polish on the handle as the blade is both to avoid fingerprinting as well as to keep it from becoming too slippery. So you can tell that they were thinking through this as they were kind of trying a variety of things. The flipper tab on it is the version 2 flipper tab, which is much, much better. It's not a major difference here. I mean, if we look at these two right next to each other, you can see there's just barely a little bit more prominence. But one of the big changes is this little 
little guy right here. They have put one little jimp, I suppose, on there, as opposed to on this guy where I had to add some texturing myself. But as a result, this is very, very easy to flip. I have never failed to flip this guy, even with wetter hands. Um, and that's absolutely a beautiful thing. And it, and it works really, really, really well. Um, the, 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 the flipping action is very reliable. Uh, as a matter of fact, a nice little measure that Birdshot IV gave me at one point in time was uh, you can't fail to flip a knife. If there is no way that you can fail to flip it, then that, that's a sign of a good action. And that's that's very, very nice. The detent on this guy is actually a little bit softer than this guy. Although, actually, uh, when I mentioned that, uh, the, the shade of Millet mentioned that they're now using a trigger pull gauge to gauge the strength of their detent, which is kind of a neat idea. I hadn't heard about that. But it's, it's a really nice detent. It works very, very well here. And coupled with all of the other little tiny details in here, like all the little polishing on the inside of the scales here, all of the other beautiful things that were already present in the Torrent, this is a really, really, really incredible piece. And I'm super glad that I went for it. Not only because it, it's really awesome and kind of over the top, which is something I, I, I definitely enjoy. I like this knife because, particularly with the damage steel, it was already a little bit over the top. But this has taken it sort of the extra mile, and that's great. And it's also light, nice to see what Millet can do when they're really kind of showing off. And I, to be fair, like I said, they were absolutely showing off here. I think they knew that I was going to make a video just like this and wanted to make it good. But I did check with them, and these are things that they're willing to do for other people in future runs. So it's not the case that, you know, they, 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 there will only be one like this potentially ever in the world. Um, they, they, they will do these things if this is something that impresses you. But on the whole, this is a knife that, as I've carried it more, as I've looked at it more, frankly, as I've just stared at it more, I've just been more and more and more impressed with. They have done an incredible job here. This is, you know, I, this is going to be the best quality controlled knife ever. It's probably going to be, you know, but still... Holy crap, guys. They did well. The only thing that I'm remotely concerned about here with this guy is actually this little cutout here. So the fact is, you can actually see right there through, this is the stop pin track here, and as we open the knife, you can see the open stop pin track there. I'm a little bit concerned, although it's not a major concern at all, um, but I am a little concerned that the, uh, the over time, it'll make it a little easier for Lint and Gunk to get all up in there, and that might be a bit of a problem. But, uh, you know, I haven't, you know, I'll let you know as I carry this guy more and more, and I absolutely will be carrying this more and more because, uh, well, this is going to be my Militor from here out. This guy is actually currently live on the Patreon awaiting sale. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're interested, there it is. But uh, I just wanted to show this little guy off because they did a really spectacular job. It is something that is really unique and absolutely beautiful, and this idea of the Damasteel on Damasteel thing, when I saw it on their Instagram, was just like, Holy crap, I need that. So, um, there you go. That's my, uh, the, the, the Dami on Dami, uh, Millet Torrent. Really, really nice little piece. Very, very impressive work out of Millet. And, uh, it makes a, an already really beautiful and really kind of crazy design. Completely, completely over the top. And, uh, that's something that's bringing me a little bit of joy. Hope this has been interesting that you're, uh, that you're enjoying looking at this guy as much as I do. And, uh, now it's going right back in the pocket where I think it belongs. Hope this has been interesting to you. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.